Good day. I'm going to talk to you about things that may be keeping you from getting out of body like you used to as a kid. So for me, I have a ton of problems that I'm working out and some of these things might apply to you. So I've been cutting back on things like coffee that just stimulate the physical body aimlessly. And uh, as soon as I cut back on coffee, I started getting out of the body more. So I decided that I should you know, cut back on high caloric, high sugary foods since I'm older and I have control over these things and uh, I think that would be a good start as well when we get older we start to develop neurotic holding patterns in the physical body that's how Elliot Hulse puts it and I think it's a pretty good term uh, you'll notice that or actually you're not going to notice these things until you try to work them out so we have partially contracted muscles everywhere when we're older and you can use things like Robert Bruce's tactile imaging to release these muscles or you can use a percussion tool. I have uh, Thumper Pro 2 which is a pretty expensive one but it works. It's worth every penny. You can also use a foam roller if you have uh, messed up back muscles and there's other weird types of rigidity that develop in our character over time that are very unhealthy. It just makes our physical body a prison and of course are going to keep us from dissociating from our bodies. And there's one thing that I developed in the last year. It's called sleep apnea. You've probably heard of it. And I can't lie on my back anymore to sleep, which is what induces sleep paralysis more than anything, uh, which kind of blows. Like I used to use the supine position for out of body experiences a lot. And now I cannot because of this sleep paralysis. So what I'm going to do is get a recliner chair and the recliner chair is going to allow me to to be in a position that uh, allows me to get out of body like I used to. Also if you prop your head up higher on your bed with like an extra pillow or whatever it seems to help with uh, sleep apnea on your back. At least it helps for me. Another significant problem that I'm having recently as of the last couple years is that I live with other people at the moment. I live with my parents because I'm independent because of my medical condition or dependent, I mean, and they are super loud. They make noise all the time and they just keep getting louder and louder. We've got a golden retriever puppy, so the puppy makes noise all the time. There's always somebody over looking after the puppy. I can't look after the puppy myself because I, um, I can't do things on a schedule given my condition. And it's just nonstop noise. So the best thing to do is to get earplugs and to insulate your room if you have the funds for that. Uh, soundproofing is super expensive, but there's you know acoustic foam which might help. And I'm going to get ear muffs of some sort to put over my earplugs. So you can cut the ends off earplugs, put them in your ears, and then put ear muffs over that, and that should uh, completely block out sound. But even the best earplugs by themselves, they don't uh, block out all sound, unfortunately. Nor will any earmuffs, at least in my environment. There are also things like uh, blue light from electronic devices. So you may be subjecting yourself to LCD screens more than ever. And the blue light from LCD screens overstimulates the physical body. And of course, this is going to make it harder for you to dissociate from it. So if you want to get rid of this effect you can get blue light filters somewhere on the internet I haven't found a good source though for in Canada you can get blue blockers which are glasses that block blue light those are pretty cool and also there's a program called flux that reduces the blue light emitted from your LCD screen it's for Windows and possibly Mac I use it it's pretty cool and I also found that I subject myself too much to negative things like I really like scary movies, for instance, and uh, zombie apocalypse movies that aren't even necessarily scary, just there's, there's tons of killing and stuff. Basically violence and, and horror. And I've cut back on that type of media consumption just because it definitely messes with your altered states and makes you hallucinate unpleasant things or dream of unpleasant things. And I found cutting back on that type of media certainly does help out a bit. It allows you to 
enter higher frequency realms and stuff and you're more comfortable leaving your physical body behind a lot of times you hallucinate things around your physical body during sleep paralysis usually uh, darker beings it makes it difficult to find the courage to leave that thing behind and your subtle body too and those are the things that keep me from getting out of body as frequently as I used to I hope that this has helped you out in some way and I'll see you next video.